let's get started with some chair yoga, shall we? Go ahead and slide to the back of your chair. Take a load off. Feel your shoulders drop. Feel your jaw drop. <laughs> More to let go of tension, not because you're surprised or anything. Let your eyes close. Feel your belly drop in a good way. Stomach relaxing. The muscles of your pelvis relaxing. Legs and glutes, arms and hands, throat, forehead, eyes. Basically anywhere you feel any kind of clenching, let go of that. Become aware of the breath. I'm going to ask us, as we're breathing slowly, to deepen the breath. And you can do this in stages. Your next inhale, just a little bit more full or fuller than the previous one. And your exhale, a bit more complete than the previous breath. Slowly deepening the breath. You might get to a full capacity where you start to feel the lungs stretch. Allowing the breath to get into those places where the breath might not usually get into. And allowing the exhale to feel really complete, feeling the navel pull back towards your spine with that exhale. Emptying the lungs clearing out what needs to be cleared out. And as you're breathing in this fuller and more complete capacity, just think about how with this inhale, you really are nourishing your system. And with that complete exhale, you really are relieving and clearing out your system. And staying present to that mindset or that idea will continue this fuller, more complete breath for just a few more rounds. One more big breath, please. In and out. And then relax your effort around the breath. And take your time as you slowly come back to the space around you. Good. Go ahead and slide forward, please. The edge of your seat, have your feet and knees about hip width apart, heel stacking underneath. Nice stable stance here. It's always good, maybe even once a day, to take a moment to do that fuller breath capacity, especially if you are feeling stressed, especially if you have not been present for a while, maybe you've been working on a project or something. The breath can become really shallow unconsciously, and so this just kind of helps to reset everything, okay? So sitting nice and tall, please bring your arms down. And with your inhale, sweep the arms out to the sides and reach up. And exhale, release down. Good, let's continue that. Inhale, reaching up. And down. What happens when we add the full breath to this movement? So inhale fully. This might mean the movement slows down to accommodate the amount of time it takes to inhale. And then what happens when you do a complete exhale? Even that little bit of a pull at the navel at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale, reaching up. Full breath in. Exhale down, complete breath out. Two or three more times. One more time, reach up. 
Man down. Good. Interlace your fingers in front of you. Press your palms away from you as you straighten the arms and take the arms overhead. With a big, full breath in, reach up through the palms. Big stretch. And then exhale, release. Keep the arms overhead. Again, big breath in, reaching up. Exhale. Keep the arms overhead. You're just relaxing the shoulders here. One more time, stretching up like you just woke up. Big breath in. And exhale, release the arms. Rolling the shoulders back. And rolling the shoulders forward. Good. From here, we're going to move into some dynamic twisting. And we'll do it a couple times without the big breath. But once we get the movement into our bodies, we're going to add this deeper, fuller breath back in. Okay. And if the breath work is ever too much, just breathe normally. Okay. <laughs> arms by your sides. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. With your exhale, take your right arm forward, your left arm back, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, unwind, reach up. And exhale, twisting to the other side, left arm forward, right arm back. Good, inhale. Exhale completely, feel the navel pull back toward the spine as you twist to the left, right arm forward. Inhale fully, reaching up. And then exhaling completely, twist to the right. Good, keep going. Inhale, reach up, full breath in. Exhale, twisting. And notice that you can sometimes twist further when you exhale completely. Inhale, unwind, reaching up, big breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhaling completely, feeling the navel pull into the spine and twist with you at the bottom of the exhale. Let's do one more time on each side. Inhale, reach up, full breath in. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale, unwind, big breath in. Exhale, twisting to the right. Good, inhale, unwind, reach up. Actually, we're gonna do one more because we're gonna hold the pose, okay? So exhale, twist to the left, right arm forward. Now with still breathing fully, deep breath in, feel the spine grow. With the exhale, exhale completely, work the left shoulder back, look as far behind you as you can. Two more breaths, big breath in, inhale. Exhale completely. Big breath in. Exhale completely. Good. With a big breath in, lift the arms up, unwind. Side number two, twisting to the right, left arm forward. Once you're in the pose, deep breath in, sit up tall. Exhale, work the right shoulder back. Sitting up tall, inhale. Twisting deeper, exhale, feeling the navel pull in and to the right. Let's do two more breaths here. Exhale, twist. Inhale, unwind, lift the arms up. With your exhale, fold forward, down over the thighs. Hands either toward the floor or hands can also be on the legs if you need to. Release the head. Good. With your next inhale, come back up. Mm. Beautiful. All right. Let's do some spinal flexes. I'll turn sideways. You keep facing forward. And yes, we're going to add the breath in here. 
adding in the breath work, just like our last class where we did the four count breath in and out, uh, really just enhances the work that we're doing in our bodies. So getting the movement down, we'll add the breath in just a moment. With your inhale, roll the shoulders down the back and open the heart, look up. Exhale, round the back, look down at your lap. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, rounding, let's add the breath this time. Inhale, big breath in, open the chest. Exhale, complete breath out, rounding the upper back, looking down. Big breath in, opening up. Rounding the back. Complete breath out. Keep going, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And a few more times, continuing to breathe big. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Neutral spine. Relax your shoulders. So something that I'm noticing, and it might be true in your body, is heat's building. <laughs> heat's building in my body a little bit here. So it's kind of warming to do this exercise or to use the bigger breath with the movement, all right? So go ahead and take your right arm out to the side, please. Sweep it across, parallel to the floor. Reach up above the elbow and just give a gentle tug inward. Breathing. Good, go ahead and release the right arm down. And we'll do the other side, left arm out, sweep it across, arm parallel to the floor, reach up above the elbow and just give a gentle tug inward. Take a deep breath or several, I should say. <laughs> Tractioning that left shoulder a little bit here. Good, and then gently release that arm on down, roll the shoulders back a couple times, roll them forward a couple of times. Great, and now we're gonna do our favorite shoulder stretch. And if it's not your favorite, well, we're gonna do it anyway. So go ahead and lift your left arm up, bend the elbow, bring the hand behind the head. With the right hand, reach up and grab the forearm or the elbow, whichever you can grab, and then pull the left arm more toward the center line of your body. Now the free hand behind you, bend the elbow more deeply, bring it closer to your spine, and then lift your chest. And then let's just breathe here. Actually, we're going to bring in that big breath because we're, we're so practiced at it now, and it's a good thing to add here. So big, slow breath in, filling the lungs. Complete slow breath out. Breathing through the nose if you can. Big breath in. Complete breath out. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Carefully release the arm. Don't drop it. Feel it unfurl next to you and feel sensation. That release in the shoulder girdle, the tingling, in the arm and hand. Good. And so one thing you may have noticed in doing the big breath on that first side is that you're not so concerned about the sensation that's happening in the shoulder, which can be uncomfortable. Instead, the mind is kind of diverted or distracted or less occupied by what is causing the discomfort. So let's do the other side and see how it feels. Go ahead and lift the right arm up. Bend the elbow, hand behind the head, 
left arm, hand comes up and grabs hold of the forearm or the elbow. Go ahead and give it a tug towards center. Bend the right elbow more deeply, bringing the hand closer to your spine and lift your chest. All right, now before you get too occupied on the discomfort in the shoulder, if that's your experience, go ahead and deepen your breath. Slow, full breath in, filling to capacity. Complete breath out slowly. Full breath in. Complete breath out. Keep going. Keep the heart lifting. One more big breath. And release that arm slowly, carefully, and feel sensation as that shoulder releases. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Since we have the shoulders and the neck nice and warmed up, we're going to do our neck rolls. So just relax the hands down onto your thighs and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Bring the head back up to center. Bring the left ear to the left shoulder. And just slowly keep seesawing back and forth from side to side, feeling one side of the neck stretch, feeling the other side of the neck stretch. Maybe one side is tighter. Try not to judge that too harshly. Now the side that is tighter, so when you drop an ear to a shoulder and it feels like that side is tighter, stay there. And just take two or three of those big breaths here, allowing the shoulder that you are stretching away from to drop down a bit more. Staying on that side, allow your chin to diagonally drop down towards your collarbone on that side. Good, then bring the chin back through center, lift the head up. Go ahead and just go to the other side. We're not gonna spend as much time here, but do let the shoulder drop down and then bring the chin toward the collarbone on that side that you're leaning towards. Just a couple deep breaths. Good, chin to center and back up. Good, that makes the head feel wobbly after doing that. <laughs> All right, we are gonna do the forward rolls because it's so good to stretch the back of the neck. So just drop an ear to a shoulder, it doesn't matter which one, and then roll down chin to chest, ear to shoulder. Stop there, roll forward and down, chin to chest, ear to shoulder, and just do that a few more times. Breathing as you move, feeling that stretch in the back of the neck. Good, and then go ahead and drop your chin down to your chest, so straight down. Tuck your chin closer to your throat a little bit more so the back of the neck lengthens more. You're sitting up nice and tall here. And then just imagine that there's a weight attached to the top of your forehead that pulls the head down a little bit more and only go as far as your head wants to today, but just trying to lengthen the back of the neck just a bit more. And then release the tucking of the chin and allow the head to float up. And it actually might feel like it's floating as it does that because you've worked to get so much tension out of the neck. So add that one into your day when you have tension headaches, you've been clenching your jaw a lot, or maybe even to help if you have migraines. So a little bit of work for you there. <laughs> 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is a core exercise. I think I might've taught this last week. It's hard to remember week to week, but I've been in love with it. So I'm gonna turn sideways. You keep facing forward, still on the edge of your seat, feet and knees where they're at. I'm gonna ask you to lift your arms up, inhale. And with your exhale, you're gonna bring your arms forward like you're holding a tray, and then you're gonna lean backwards. Now, once you're here, don't round the back. That just brings you out of it. You want to feel the pelvis tilt forward and the chest lift, okay? And then inhale, lift the arms up. Let's add that big breath. Exhale completely. Lean back as far as you can today, keeping the feet on the floor. Inhale, lift up, big breath in. Exhale, leaning back. Inhale, lift. Complete exhale, leaning back. Inhale, lift. Leaning back. And lift. Two more. Lean back. Lift. You guessed it. We're going to hold. Lean back. Feel the chest lift. A slight forward tilt of the pelvis. Core is engaged. Back is engaged. Breathe. Good. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fall down over the thighs. Either arms toward the floor, hands on the legs. Up to you. Release the head. Good. With your next inhale, go ahead and roll yourself on up. Beautiful. I love that core one. <laughs> You're probably going to see it a lot more often. All right. So we're going to spend the last few minutes we have together today in meditation. So take your time as you slide to the back of your chair. Have your feet flat on the floor and just take a load off. You've worked hard. Feel the... Shoulders relax again, away from the ears. Relax your jaw. It's okay if the mouth is hanging open here. Relax your eyes. Notice sensation in your body. You might be aware of acute sensation from the exercises that we have done. Maybe in your shoulders and neck, maybe in your core, lower back, shoulders, somewhere else. And then also be aware of sensation in your body that might not be screaming or calling to you. <laughs> How are your legs feeling, your feet, your fingertips, your arms, and anywhere else, everywhere else? And we're not judging this experience. We're just aware of it. As you're aware of the body, notice your breath. We've done a lot of work today to increase your lung capacity and to clear out the lungs. And your breath doesn't have to feel deep at all here, but it might just feel like it's flowing a bit more easily than it did before. Whether there's more room for the breath than there was before. Whatever your experience of the breath is, just honor it. You don't have to judge it.
Notice as well here in this practice of mindfulness, how you are feeling energetically. And perhaps you feel calmer than you did when we first began. Noting that it's okay if that is not your experience. Again, we're not judging. We're just witnessing what is here. How do you feel energetically? And then how is your mind? How does it feel to be in your mind? Perhaps there is less movement than when we first began. Again, it's okay if that is not the case. But perhaps there is a bit more calm, the mind feeling a bit more grounded, perhaps more focused. No judgment, just witnessing. Honoring yourself just as you are in this moment. This body, this breath, energy and mind. And staying with any comfort or calmness or groundness that you've cultivated in this practice, when you're ready, go ahead and begin to take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring the palms together and rub them together, creating heat. And taking the heated palms over your eyes and brushing gently over the top of your head and down your neck, slowly bringing yourself back to the space around you. <laughs> 